Hey everybody, it's uh, Brian here from quantlabs.net. Um, I've done oh, a week's worth of research looking for ways to collect and manage uh, tick data. Now, um, I've been struggling right off the bat. Do I go with eSignal, uh, tick boom, uh, DTA, DTN, IQ feeds? Um, so it looks like I'm moving ahead with IQ feeds. They've been very generous uh, providing me uh, a great trial for both the open source trading platform that I'm going with as well as um, their general uh, API, uh, their testing uh, login license for uh, a week. Um, so I've, I've got a good feel of how their data works. I'm very happy with it. Uh, it's quite affordable. I've posted some details on that on the site at quantlabs.net. Um, up until yesterday, I was trying to figure out ways to house all the tick data. Was it going to be in a database or how was it going to be done? So I came along, did some research, came across this product called Q Collector Export for uh, DTN, uh, which is obviously DTN IQ feeds. Um, what you're looking at right now is the spiel about the Q Collector demo trial. Uh, software uh, it's quite good um, they are pretty decent in terms of giving you a good solid way of seeing how the software works um, they also give you the ability to track a few uh, stocks in this case obviously um, these ones right here that I highlight um, and a few um, uh, uh, futures and forex and so on and so forth so um, it's pretty good to, to, to get a good feel of the software within Q Collector. So right now um, I'm using Q Collector Expert for DTN. Um, it is working. It automatically connects to my DTN uh, IQ feed software. You can manually connect right here with uh, to IQ feeds, but you need to ensure you do have the IQ feed uh, client software logged in, and I'll obviously have your um, IQ feeds, login, setup, and all that sort of stuff. So anyways, um, what I want to do is just give you a brief rundown of the actual software of Q Collector. Um, what you're looking at right now is the standard uh, trial symbols that are part of the uh, trial software. Um, so we get uh, all the latest data uh, currently for today, uh, December 29th, um, and some of the latest stuff. You can also somewhat... Um, create your own test portfolio which is per their their instructions on the startup software on the instructions uh, which can be found in this uh, general uh, readme file um, it's all here um, but these are the results of of that under the test portfolio um, and I've set it up to just collect from I can't remember the starting date but um, all I cared about is just seeing it working and it seems to be working just fine open, high, low, close, volume, um, and you can go back as far as you want, um, as far as IQ feeds let you, um, and you can also set up the portfolio to collect on a daily, monthly, tick by tick, however you want. It's it's pretty cool. Um, I do like uh, the software, um, and the other cool thing about it is uh, it will generate this uh, file. Uh, for you um, as is collecting the data again this can be tick data and this can be stored within your uh, your uh, system as a flat file and then you can use your uh, open source trading platform be it trade a ninja trader or trade link or whatever uh, apparently there's a whole list of um, software uh, the Q collector data is is compatible with um, but it's a fantastic way to manage your tick data um, instead of having to go through a database um, but again you could ha also set up a database to collect this data as well and house it within the database if you want um, but that's pretty well it uh, I'm very happy with this software for $129 what they're asking is is peanuts considering also the feed um, of uh, I believe mine's around probably 75 bucks with all the exchange fees plus $65 for the um, data feed, uh, basic feed, feed uh, that IQNets wants is, is quite affordable versus uh, e-signals wanting double. So for me, it's a, it's a good, a very good combination. Um, 
and later on if I want access to the uh, API of IQ Feeds is three hundred dollars so um, right now I'm not interested in that because of this queue collector um, but down the road once my uh, environment does go into a production environment I wouldn't be surprised I'll be uh, going through the IQ Feeds uh, uh, API as well for the data. Um, all in all, I'm very happy we do have now um, live data coming into this environment as well as I have the ability now to uh, house it and manage it um, in a very much easier way than going through a database. Um, that's how I look at it and it should get you up to speed a lot faster as well.